Slaves here, Senior Pickleball Report, presented by TNC Network, freshly showered. Let's get it going. No backhand, no problem. Quick hack, and we can fix this. Okay, before we get started, if you wanna get somebody involved in the sport, check out A11N Sports for low bottom end prices. If you want to upgrade your paddle, check out the link in our description for Just Paddles. they got a great selection of brands, and they have a process to help you walk through to find the paddle that's right for you. And hey, if you want to get a shirt to support the channel, check out the link in the description of our merch page. All right, let's get to the content. Okay, hey, my mother was right-handed. My father was left-handed. So I eat and write... I play a musical instrument right-handed, but I play most sports left-handed, with the exception, sort of, with pickleball. There are times when I use my right hand, um, and uh, many times it has to do with my backhand. And sometimes it's just that I can't get to my backhand quickly enough. And in this sport, the paddle is light enough to switch hands and you know, kind of make a shot. Um, Again, this is something that if you're having trouble with mobility or you're just caught off guard or you want to give somebody a different look while you're, um, you know, dinking, it's a great way to kind of get the ball back in play without having to do something really spectacular with a backhand that you're lunging for. Again, sometimes we're just out of position. Sometimes we're not expecting the ball in a particular place. And again, this sport allows us to do this because the equipment is very light and easy to maneuver. Rick Witzkin, who is a senior pro I interviewed, here's what he had to say about using your other hand, your non-dominant hand. Both ambidextrous and non-ambidextrous people to get used to using their non-dominant hand. So when they're stretched out wide, when they're off balance, as long as right. they keep the paddle out of them, I think they can get good at it. And I'm glad you, you do do it because I don't do it to be cool. I don't try and put on a show. It's just to me, so wise when I'm in the kitchen and they're moving me all around to do that. And then obviously in singles is where I use my left hand the most. I mean, when you got guys like Paul Owen hitting passing shots on a dime, if yeah. I can't get my left hand, I'm not getting there with a the backhand. So I strongly encourage all of our listeners to consider the use of both hands in, in tough situations. Well, if it's good enough for senior pro Rick Witzkin, it's good enough for probably you and I. So check it out. You can go to a board and hit your non-dominant hand and kind of switch a little bit and see how you feel. Some people, it comes more naturally. For me, it came very naturally, and it's something that I do um, from time to time. Um, I kind of keep it in my uh, repertoire, so to speak, so I, I practice with it once in a while just to kind of keep it sharp. But if it's something that you think may work for you, check it out and um, know this, that a senior pro does it, and from time to time, you'll see people at very high levels do it as well, switching hands. All right. That's your little hack. Let's get out there and pickle.